What's going on everybody? Sorry I've been not uploading videos that often lately. There's war. Uh, I've been a little busy working on cars and doing stuff. I've been trying to do a coilover install video, but again, I'm trying to, for the sake of time, be quick about it and not worry about what video it looks like. So I have a little bit of footage. I may try to throw something together, but for now I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, one thing is I got a, a new daily to use. Um, got a, an Accord. My father recently got a new BMW, so I acquired the Accord. So I'm using that as a daily is to not get any more tickets and not get pulled over as much. Um, another thing is, what was another thing? I'm going to be doing a little quick install for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to be attaching a gurney flap to my rear wing for the SI. Uh, now I may throw the wing on the car just to see what it looks like. Uh, I may not, I like how it looks without the wing. I also have like a duck bill that I may put on. I'm still up in the air with a couple of ideas, but um, I'll show you guys that now. Alright, so here's my rear wing for the 9th gen. I have this Kevlar Password JDM gurney flap. Now I have a little bit of painter's tape on it just so I can mock it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the wing and mock this up. And then with some 3M adhesive, I'm going to heat the adhesive, attach, like uh, stick it to the gurney flap, heat the adhesive when it's on the gurney flap, and of course while the the wing is being cleaned with a uh, limitless car care, uh, waterless wipe. Um, I'll have a link for this stuff down below who will get in contact with to get some of this stuff works really good guys. I use the majority of their products, the cockpit care, the waterless wipe, the uh, smudge and grease remover I believe it is. Uh, it works really well. I saw a picture of it and how it worked on getting stains out of seats and with a 9th gen with the red seats it's like gonna happen. It's gonna happen to you so definitely uh, check that out. I'll have a link below. So this 3M tape that we got right here, it's uh, supposed to be really good for exterior parts like this. It's supposed to be really sticky. It's called VHB tape. Uh, so shout out to BJ. He's the one that hooked me up with this. I'll have him linked below as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mock up where it's going to go on the, the gurney flap just by you know laying out the strips and cutting it to size. And then I will show you that when it's all done and uh, mocked up. One more thing I'm doing is uh, I got this used. So there's some old adhesive still on the gurney flap. I don't know if it's focusing on that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a heat gun and I'm just going to heat it up, rub off the old glue, and then reapply the new one. So I'm going to try to do that now. Alright, now that I have the gurney flap all clean of the old residue from the old adhesive that's there, I'm going to apply the new adhesive, lay it all out, get it all mocked up right and good, and show you that in a second. All right, now I got all of the adhesive on here. What I'm going to do real quick before putting it on the wing is I'm going to heat it up with a heat gun just so it's all nice and soft. That way when I put it on, it uh, everything presses down nice and evenly. I'm also going to take the wing here that I freshly washed it. I'm going to mock up where it goes with some tape. Just going to kind of tape off the edges. That way I know exactly where to line it up. Okay, so got a little bit of painter's tape here. I'm thinking... I'll tape off each side, that way I know exactly where it should go as far as left and right. Kind of using the tail light here also as like a reference just for the center. And once you put this on, it's kind of a pain to take it back off. Alright, that's on as far as the, the tape spots that I want it to line up at. I'm just going to go heat up the glue real quick and then stick it on there. All right, I'm gonna be quick about this because the glue is still hot. So I figured warming the glue would probably help with the, uh, the adhesion. Just because when you get it on here, you don't really have the ability to peel it back off, well, easily anyway. It's a little off center. And that's probably gonna bug me, so I might heat it up and try to take it off. But for now, it looks good. Pass for JDM. Not bad. 
So yeah, I'd say overall that was a success. All right guys, so it's on now. I reattached it to the car and everything like that. So I will show you that now. I like it. I personally, I, I still like the no wing look a little better. Um, this is definitely gonna grow on me though, because even now I really enjoy how it looks. Um, just overall, really simple to do, really easy. Sets it off a little bit. I like that it's like this, the Kevlar color that goes with my rims. Um, you know, that kind of kind of makes me happy. But um, yeah, other than that, sorry I've been away. Like I said before, I've been doing a lot of stuff. I haven't been doing as many uploads as I normally do. Uh, I haven't been doing as many uploads just because I've been a little busy uh, doing on side projects and stuff like that. Um, but here, I'll show you the new daily. Uh, this is it. It's 2014 Honda Accord. My father was leasing it. Um, I'm still up in the air about whether or not I'm going to take over the lease or try to finance it and buy it off. Um, but the reason I'm really considering it is because, A, it's 2014, I got it the same time I got my car, it only has 11,000 miles on it. 11,000 miles, I mean, that's still like a brand new car for a Civic or a Honda, I should say. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below, if I should keep it, if I should try to get something else. I mean, again, for me, it, it's not going to cost me too much more to get that. And uh, instead of driving my loud Civic around all the time, I could be driving that around and just save some money and tickets overall. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, I do appreciate your opinion and your comments. Um, I'll show you what he got. He picked up. A pow. BMW 750Li. He got it second hand. 2014. Um, this thing's a beast. It's a twin turbo. V8. Just really smooth. Boat. It's a boat. It's big. It's huge. But... It's, it rides so nice. Like I put it in the Sports Plus mode and put it in the, the manual shift selection and, and I'm, that thing just, it, you're, you didn't even know you are going like 100, 115 and I even got it up to like 120 and, and you don't even feel it because it's just such a solid car. Um, but yeah, definitely good for him. I'm happy for him. Congratulations, Pops. Uh, and like I said, let me know what you guys think of the daily and what you guys think of the gurney flap. I like it. She's asleep. She's napping. Oh, nope, she's up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the gurney flap. I love it. I think it looks good. Um, yeah, leave it in the comments below. But uh, that's all I got for now, guys. Until next time, I will catch you later. Peace.